Good morning, YouTube. Good morning. It's your boy Crazy Lazy back again with another video. Hey man, I just been like seeing some. I think I got a new subscriber. It looked like a female. I couldn't really tell. But I like the last comment that I read from you was like you want me to speak on more about Haiti and vampires and voodoo and shit like that. I'm going to get straight to it. Now, I'm going to let you know, man. Yes, I'm Haitian. My mom Haitian. My daddy Haitian. But listen, if I go to Haiti right now, bro, they're not going to they not gonna claim me as I'm Haitian. They're gonna, I'm too Americanized. You know what I'm saying? But I fuck with my coach. Damn, that's a booger. What is that? Oh, my God. It's a booger. What? Damn, I think that's a bum. But my bad, y'all. It is, it's shit, fuck it with me. Hold on, I'm gonna try one more time. Man, fuck it. Alright, like I was saying, if I go to Haiti right now, then they ain't gonna claim me. That's how I feel. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But, um, listen, I heard plenty of stories. I got I got a lot of Haitian homeboys. I got homeboys who's from overseas who came here and lived here and they made a good living. And, um, I know y'all motherfuckers hear about the voodoo and shit. Now, let's just get this straight, bro. Haitians ain't the only one who do voodoo, bro. A lot of people do voodoo, bro. These crackers do voodoo. The Mexicans. The fucking Puerto Ricans. Santa Maria. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of shit. It's a lot of shit out here, man. It's a lot of magic. Magic is real. You know what I'm saying? Creating things with your hand is magic. You know what I'm saying? Like speaking just using words and spells you know what i'm saying what you when they doing voodoo rituals and shit they're they're they they doing enchantments what you think these songs are these songs when when niggas make songs basically they're opening up their cells and they chanting on the microphone that's a spirit when you talking you're hearing the spirit once the spirit hits the microphone and you hearing that shit you go to the club and you turn it up you hear that shit it's a spirit game you getting you crunk but anyways man let me get to it like as i have a few i have a few homeboys who told me a couple of shit about haiti as in like don't walk with you in haiti you can't walk you cannot fucking walk at night if it's past like 12 o'clock but they said a lugau some shit i think a lugau is a witch i'm not don't don't give me listen i don't give me don't Correct me if I'm wrong, bro. You feel me? Don't be snapping on me in the comment sessions if you Haitian. But listen, bro, y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about. Correct me though, cause I ain't one of them niggas who hate correction. But I got I got some homies. They were like, man, if you walked around Haiti around like you know one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning, a lugao could take you, a zombie would take you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they be flying on brooms and shit like that. See, me only been in Haiti one time, you know. And when I when I went to Haiti. I was about like five years old. I still remember the shit like it's vivid, like it was yesterday. I went to Haiti with my daddy, and um, yeah, you know when you when you go to Haiti and you from over here, once once you drink their water, they cause they drink some. There's some places in Haiti, bro. You, they still get water from the well. And my my father, him just being a man, he didn't really understand certain shit. He gave me the water from the well. So once I drank the water from the well, I was vomiting. Diarrhea, um, um, high fever. Instantly, I was like, I ain't never coming back to Haiti. Instantly. So you know, my mama, she always be telling me, man, you might as well come back to see your family because you had a bad experience with your daddy. But don't make, oh, you gonna have a good time over here. You know what I'm saying? On her side of the family. But um, like I said, it's like, like from what I know, from what I know, when niggas be playing with the wool. Look at niggas' jewelry, bro. Look at niggas' jewelry. Look at they bees on their neck, man. If you're from South Florida, bro, I know y'all seen a lot of motherfuckers with a hundred bees on their neck, bro. A hundred fucking million bees. And it's a lot of extra shit. People be having, like, people be having, like, a red knot on their hand and shit. But you, you know what I'm saying? But I've been, but I, it's, I, I seen a couple of people with red knots on their hands. You know what I'm saying? But I, 
I, I did a couple of like research on that shit. Some be saying that people with red knots, they worship the Kabbalah. But that's still a form of magic. You know what I'm saying? So either way, it's still magic. You know, like even vampires. They say vampires don't age. You know what I'm saying? I got me scared. I be like, damn, I ain't age. I must be a vampire. I don't know. You feel me? I don't, I don't, I don't suck on people's blood and shit. You know what I'm saying? Now, if I fuck with a little female, you know, I might put a hickey on you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, um, they be having like little mermaids and shit in Haiti. I seen a few like on the internet and I knew it was a mermaid, bro. I just knew the motherfucker cannot finesse me and be like, nah, them shits are real. You know, it's a lot of things that you can see in these other countries that America is not providing to broadcast because they don't, they don't want you to, they don't want you to believe, they don't want you to believe or open up your mind and be like, oh, it's something bigger than this shit out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then when it comes to like the voodoo shit, I know niggas who do that shit, but that shit come with a price. You can have, you can get, it, it'll give you money. That the food, that the, them spirits do not give a fuck about giving you money, bro. Cause they want your soul. They want your soul. Your soul is richer than money. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, motherfuckers black old. Okay, even with the music industry, bro. I make music, so it's like all that shit is witchcraft, bro. You really gotta. Be able to come come up with words and make a song. A song, bitch, bitch. I swear to God, it's a spell. You know what I'm saying? You gotta make spells to like keep people hypnotized. You probably got that one song that you hear every day. You love that shit. Or for example, you could listen to the radio. You you keep hearing this once the same song. You're like, why the fuck they keep playing the same song? And you might not like it, but you keep hearing that shit. You get hypnotized. You gonna start saying certain words, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? The fuck? Hell no. Damn. That shit dangerous. But yeah. It's a lot of shit. It's a lot of shit. A lot of people that's doing in the dark. And it might look good in the light. Motherfuckers got demons. You feel me? On them. Like me personally. One demon I'm really faking right now. is the alcohol demon, man. You know what I'm saying? And then when you go to liquor stores. Some of these liquor stores are called wines and spirits. You know what I'm saying? Like even even in the um in the Middle East, they be talking about shit about the gin. You know what the gin is? The gin are evil spirits. But what they be selling liquor stores? Gin. Really peak. Really like really peak. The words might be spelled different, but they sound in the same way. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just giving y'all heads up on certain shit. You know? And when it like, like, all right, for instance, look at Kodak. Kodak, he a real Haitian boy. You feel me? Did you guys see his new fucking um mixtape cover, Haitian boy Kodak? That shit demonic. You know, you did. Did you guys see the the little seal on the seal on that um on that cover art? That is a seagull. If I'm saying it right, it's a seagull, and a seagull is like. A telephone number to call a de- to, uh, to call a demonic being, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of people not understanding this shit. A lot of people not understanding this shit. Like you really gotta look at these rappers that's really deep into this shit, bro. Look at their eyes, bro. The eyes are to the window to the soul, man. Look at their eyes. Do they got it? You know? And like, it just I don't know. This should be weird as fuck, bro. And just me being a public figure, bro. Me talking about certain shit like this, bro. When I'm out in the world, bro, motherfuckers be looking at me crazy. Motherfuckers be talking. Motherfuckers be showing me. Me on YouTube, bro. They be pulling up. They phone and showing me. I see you. And that shit be scary because you never know who's fucking watching. But it is it is what it is. But you got to watch out for what spirits you entertaining out here, man. You know, like, it's plenty of times, like... It's plenty of time. Like my mom, she, 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 man, she, she spiritual. And I ain't gonna lie. When I was young, I used to run the streets a lot. You know what I'm saying? And she used to be like, man, if when you come at home, if you hear somebody call your name, never, don't look back. Just keep going. Just keep going. My mama know why she telling me that shit, bro. I'm not gonna question. I'm gonna listen to my mama. You know, in this, in this, in this times, in this times when I was younger, I was on, I, I we, we was on some licks. With a couple of niggas And there's a couple of niggas That did ordinary shit You know what I'm saying Like we'll hit a lit For some reason This nigga He'll take his shirt off He'll 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 He'll, he'll, 
he'll wear his shirt like backwards or some shit. Everybody look at him, this nigga crazy. Everybody get locked up with him. It'd be some shit like that. It'd be some shit like that. You know, I mean, one time, I mean, one time, dog. Yeah, we we took po- uh, we took these crackers on the, on the police chase. It's about two or three o'clock in the morning, and um, we bucking from troll. We bucking from troll. Me personally, I think this nigga had that war on him, but we bucking from troll. And like, he jumped the wall. I jumped the wall, and then instantly, I was, I'm I'm not even ten seconds away from him, bro. This nigga just disappeared. Disappeared. And at that time, I think he was rocking the rosary shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you really gotta like. You really gotta like know who you dealing with out here, but just cause a motherfucker in the flesh with you or looking at you in the flesh look nice, you don't know what that is as a as a spirit, as a being. Cause motherfuckers are really demonic, bruh. You know what I'm saying? And trust me, when you when you like, people see that shit. Them demons, they see that shit. Like you could even all oh, my previous videos, bro. When I was on semen retention like 60 days, my energy high as hell, bro. Bitch, I'm pulling out on block parties, straight Haitians out there. So these supposed to be my peoples, but I can feel the negative energy. I can feel who got that shit on them. I can feel it. I can feel. I'm like, oh yeah, he got it on him. Oh, he got it, but it ain't that strong. Oh, this nigga right here, his shit strong. His shit strong. Like I can feel that shit. And niggas know I know who. You know what I'm saying? That's what be that's and that's what's scary. You know what I'm saying? But I got the most high with me. You feel me? Because that little energy you fucking with, the little spirit you praying to, to get whatever you need, you gotta ask God. You know what I'm saying? God gonna let you do whatever. You know what I'm saying? Cause you got free will. So people be like, why the fuck God be letting these people do whatever they want to do? Because God not trying to control you. You know what I'm saying? God wanna see where your where your where your heart at. He trying to it's a, a TOH, he testing your heart. You know what I'm saying? To real that shit, God want to see who really rocking with him. I'm rocking with mine, and and it been it been plenty of times like I was almost deceived until like doing like some spiritual shit to the point to the point I asked one of my homeboys who's from overseas about um some spiritual shit. He was like, Nah, lazy, don't do it, don't do it, because if you do it, it's gonna come back and get you. And, and what you know, that shit hates you. He was just telling me certain shit. And I'm like, damn. You ain't fucking lying. But, um, you know, I try to stay away from, like, people like that. Because when you around people like that, that shit get to, like, ill, Ill like, motherfucking. Like, that shit will, like, motherfucking, um, rub off on you. Real shit. Like, I'm not even lying, man. And then it's been a few times people... Telling me, oh, oh, the spirit said, the spirit, the spirit, like, like it's like they went to talk to the spirit for me and shit. Like, bro, ain't nobody never don't don't talk to no spirit for me, none of that. You know what I'm saying? And you'll be you'll be amazed, bro. People will see you and they can see the glory of you and they want you to sell your soul or go go do some shit they doing, not knowing they that shit fucking up. But um, I knew I was like, I was everywhere. I was everywhere from from the, from the spirits to the voodoo, and you know I'm giving you a little bit of shit that I know of. But like, y'all really gotta sit down with me in real life, bruh, cause it'll be easy for me. But I'm, I'm I'm trying this YouTube shit, you know what I'm saying? I got like I don't know maybe a hundred videos or some shit, but I'm trying. I'm letting y'all know, like this spiritual shit is real, man. Everything that hap- everything happens in the spiritual realm first, then it happens in the physical. I'm telling you. Go ahead. I remember one time I was locked up in the county jail. It was just one nigga, bro. He had 666 tatted right here on his face. And, like, I don't know what the fuck, man. It just, I had a, I always had a real, uh, like, uh, uh, a weird vibe around this nigga. Like, we used to play basketball and shit. I ain't even want to guard him for some reason. It just, it was just weird. And he had, like, a dark presence. Like, he was just, I don't know, bro. But I know when the first time he came in the pod, man, his commissary shit was bigger than the bitch he came in there, bitch. I'm like, okay, he he must have he must have been locked up for a little minute or whatever. And he, cause I used to, I used to, I used to have my Bible on me, you know what I'm saying? And I think he had a PBL charge or whatever, and he was he was locked up with us for like two weeks or whatever. And you know, a PBL charge, he ain't got no bond, so. 
We ain't got no bond. Bitch, you ain't going nowhere. You know what I'm saying? I was already sentenced. So they call his name and shit. You know what I'm saying? He walking out with his own comments. He ain't getting nobody no like niggas, some niggas, some niggas when they leaving the county or getting released, they pass out the food or whatever. Like, ah, I fuck with y'all boy. Da, da, da. This nigga was saying, man, y'all better pray to Satan. Y'all better pray to Satan. I'm telling you, Satan good, man. He'll he get you out this shit. And like, I was like, damn. But I mean, I've been I, I've been through I've been through a lot of encounters, bro. When it come to like certain shit like that, cause I remember mean, one time we was on the block one time. Bitch, this video finna be long. I'm one time we was on the block. So we, we we drinking and smoking or whatever. So a red car had pulled up on us. Whoop. A white lady jumped out. You know what I'm saying? A white lady jumped out. And she was like, man, who's hurt over here? You know what I'm saying? Who's hurt? And my dog, he was playing football like a, a couple of days prior. And he was saying how he hurt his, I don't know, his knee or some shit or whatever. And I'm, I'm looking at my dog. I'm like, I'm like, man, he hurt. You feel me? Fuck that shit because this some spiritual shit. I don't know what the fuck. How the fuck you just jumped out of here and you talking about who's hurt? So I said he hurt. And she was like, don't worry, you're gonna be healed. You know what I'm saying? And she she was talking more, talking talking to him or whatever. So I'm talking to my other dog, he's spiritual too. He was like, man, what is this? Who the fuck sent this lady? You know what I'm saying? We talking like that. You know what I'm saying? So she was like, man, who make music around here? I like, I make music, you know what I'm saying? She's like, don't worry about the music. You got the talent. You gonna meet somebody in the future who's gonna help you. You know what I'm saying? With, with, with any financial situations with the music and you know what's crazy like right now bruh i got people right now who's lining shit up for me with the music you know what i'm saying some weird ass shit or some spiritual shit i i, I say so in the midst of her like when she was leaving i was like hey man who sent you you feel me fuck that i had to ask that shit she like the holy spirit i'm like you sure she like yes i'm sure she cleared it A white lady, bruh A white lady Like I be saying, man You never know who you entertaining out here And that was by like 2014, 15 I made a song That I made, I had wrote a song that day Sitting on the car It was called Motivation to Stay Focused I wrote two songs that day, bruh Right there on the block And When I say that shit was like Crazy Crazy I got a song called I got a song called I Can't Trust a Soul And I had mentioned I had mentioned an angel Cause In my hood It's like little projects And shit or whatever So I was talking to this little jit And This little jit was telling me He was like Man lazy man Man you got a good heart Man he about like He about like 12, 13 I don't even know his age And he was like Man You got a good heart man But you gotta stay away From these people man They laugh with you But in your face They talk They laugh They laugh with, They laugh with you In your face But behind your back They talk about you Swear to God, I swear to God on my life, bitch, I ain't lying. And I had seen a, 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 a young, a, 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 another dude that came through. He was like, Lazy, what you doing talking to this jit? I was like, I'm learning from him. He was like, man, you can't learn nothing from that jit. See, that jit who said that he died, yeah, I got, he got killed. You know what I'm saying? Probably like a year later. That shit. Rest in peace to that boy. I ain't going to say his name, but rest in peace to that boy. So when that jit told me that shit, bro, I wrote a song, I Can't Trust a Soul. You know what I'm saying? And like, what I said, what I said on that shit. I don't remember what I said. But just know, man, like I, the Bible is going to let you know who you encounter with, man. You got to be careful who you entertaining. Like on some real life shit. So when it comes to spiritual shit, but it test your spirits, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like even one time, I'm taking my son to school. My son, what, two years old? Old lady. Like I told you about the old lady, the old people. I feel like they, they stay close to God and shit. Old lady was like, come here, young man. I'm looking at this lady like, what the fuck, man? We late. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to hope and get his out of school. She was, she was like, do you his father? I'm like, yeah. He a child of God. You know what I'm saying? Keep him protected. I'm like, damn. And like, and to be honest, bro, my son is like, that nigga, he's, he's overly advanced. You know what I'm saying? There'd be times when we should be sleeping the guy. I'd be like, man, pray. Pray that you, you it's your day to pray. You'll be praying. You know what I'm saying? And he he already know about like all this. He know about a little extra shit. You know what I'm saying? I be dropping jewels on him. So, like I'm saying, man, y'all 
this shit is deeper than the physical eye. And a lot of people don't see that shit. Motherfuckers be seeing me. They be like, damn, he's special. He's different. Yeah, because I'm spiritual. You know what I'm saying? I be fasting and all. Motherfuckers be like, damn, how the fuck you make shit happen? But fast. Fast. Go to the most high. Not, not, people not understanding, bro. You can get whatever you want from the most high, bro. God will bless you, bro. He will bless you. King Solomon, David, bro. Look at David. David had son of David in the Bible. He had, he had son of soldier to get killed. You feel me? And he and, and David fucked his wife. You know what God told that nigga? This how this how real God is, bro. God said, "Why would you fuck that man's wife, bro? If you wanted another wife, I would have I would I would I would have gave it to you. If you would have asked on some real ass shit. But I'm gonna let y'all go though, man. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start speaking more about little the little the little the characters. I ain't gonna say characters, the, the people in the Bible though, because these motherfuckers are hey they black just like us, all type of shit. But I'm gonna holler at you. Who says, hey, drop some comments, man. Drop some comments, man. Like, for real. Give me some more topics to talk about. Like, because I'm on this shit, man. <laughs> Holla at me.